Hi everyone. Today's video is all about the forehand and how we can connect the arm with the hand when hitting the shot. First of all, let's have a look at what the arm does. So when hitting the ball, the first thing the arm has to do is take the racket back. So there are a few different ways players can do this. The racket can go back into the slot. It can be taken back directly behind the ball or it can go down slightly. So my preference is to take the racket back into the slot position. From here, the arm is going to be the driving force behind hitting the ball. Next, I'll move my arm from the shoulder joint towards the ball to strike it. When the racket makes contact with the ball, we're aiming to make this the quickest part of the movement with our arm. Because this bit is the quickest, the arm will still have energy to continue moving the racket past the contact point towards your target. When the arm has finished its journey, it will most likely end up somewhere near your shoulder on your non-dominant side. So what is this movement with the arm actually doing to the ball? Well, first of all, it's making the ball go up and over the net, particularly if there's a little drop with your arm before you hit the ball. Secondly, and most importantly, it's providing the hit and power of the shot. Both of these things are making the ball essentially travel. Your arm makes the ball move and provides it with energy. So now we need to look at what the hand is doing when we hit the ball. So the job of the hand when hitting the forehand is to try and control the energy that the arm is providing the ball with. The hand does this by turning from the wrist over the top of the ball. This will help to bring the ball back down by making it spin or rotate. So as you'll be able to see in this slow motion clip, the hand is turning at least 180 degrees when we hit the ball. As we start to make contact with it, we'll be able to see a section of our arm or our wrist. As we hit it and we turn our hand, that section won't be visible anymore as because we've turned so much that that bit will now be underneath. So the secret to a successful forehand is connecting both the hand and the arm movements. So whilst doing your arm movement, watch your racket head move as you do your hand movement at the same time. So we should be aiming to start our hand movement around about the time that we touch the ball with our strings. Next, we're going to go through a trial and error process. So when putting both of these movements together, it's important to pay attention to where your bad shots are going. Are they hitting the net or are they going long? If they're hitting the net, then you might want to try and drop your arm a bit lower during its movement to hitting the ball. You may also want to try and start your hand movement a fraction of a second later. The earlier you start your hand movement, the more of an effect it will have on where the ball goes. The later you start it, it will be less effective on bringing the ball back down into the court. If they're going long, then you might want to try and drop your arm a bit less during its movement to hitting the ball. You may also want to try and start your hand movement a fraction of a second earlier, as this will have more of an effect on bringing the ball back down into court.